time to earn my pay. What do you want? We don't need any more trouble around here. Didn't you ask the Minutemen for help? You're with the Minutemen? I didn't really think you fellas still existed. We sent word with one of them passing traitors, but honestly, I never expected anything to come of it. Most people don't put much stock in the Minutemen these days after Quincy. Bad business, that. We're rebuilding the Minutemen from the ground up. We're the good guys again. Glad to hear it. No question that things have been worse since the Minutemen fell to pieces. There's a raider gang that's been giving us trouble for weeks. Stealing food and supplies, threatening to kill us all if we don't pony up. We know where they're coming from, but we can't go up against a gang like that. Don't worry. I'll take care of those raiders for you. Thanks, friend. If you folks are for real this time, it'll be a welcome change for the better.
First mistake.
fucking pay for that! Think you can win this, huh? Oh, you're here.
find those raiders? Yeah, I took care of them. No kidding. That's the best piece of news we've had around here for a good long time. So we've been talking. We decided if you came through for us, we'd join up with the Minutemen again. If we want things to get better, we've got to start helping each other. So we're in. You can count on us if you need help down the line. Thanks again, friend. Seems to be growing well. Don't nice job at those defenses. I've got nothing else I need right now. I think Preston may want to chat, though. Stay sharp. Don't let your guard down. You know that settlement you sent me to help? They've decided to join the Minutemen. That's great news. I knew you were the right person for the job. By the way, you should have one of these flare guns. You can use it to signal for help from any nearby Minutemen. Not much use yet, but once we have more allied settlements, you'll have help whenever you need it. I don't think I ever told you what happened to the Minutemen. How I ended up as the last one. I figured you'd tell me when you were ready. Have you heard of the Quincy Massacre? You guys came from Quincy, didn't you? That's right. Mama Murphy, Sturgis, the Longs. They were all from Quincy. I was with Colonel Hollis's group. A mercenary group called the Gunners was attacking Quincy. The people there called for the Minutemen to help. We were the only ones that came. The other groups, they just turned their backs on us and the folks in Quincy. Only a few of us got out alive. Colonel Hollis was dead, so I ended up in charge of the survivors. We never found a safe place to settle. One disaster after another. You saw how it ended in Concord? As long as you don't give up, the Minutemen will survive. I'm not about to give up, but I can't protect the Commonwealth all by myself. Hell, I could barely protect these people. That's why I'm talking to you. I can't rebuild the Minutemen, but I think you can. Hey, that means a lot coming from you, Garvey. I appreciate that. Does that mean you'll do it? Okay, I'll do it. Good, good. Welcome aboard. I feel like this is a whole new star for the Minutemen, and the Commonwealth, too. Don't worry. I'll be right beside you all the way, General. So if I'm a general, where's my army? You're looking at it, I'm afraid. But I wasn't joking when I called you that. The leader of the Minutemen has always held the rank of general. Our last leader was General Becker. After he died back in 82, nobody could agree on who should take his place. The one good thing about being the last minute man is, there's no one to argue with me when I say you're the new general. Now it's your job to make it more than an empty title. A settlement has asked for our help. Apparently someone's been kidnapped. Uh -huh. We've gotta show people the minute man can really help them.
That's close enough, stranger. We're a peaceful farm. We don't want any trouble. It's okay. I'm friendly. Not looking to cause any trouble. If you say so, but be warned. We're armed here, so don't try anything. Let me tell you, farming ain't easy. Out in the field all day, every day, and every minute of it spent watching your back. Farming's hard work. Won't argue with that. Blake Abernathy, you new to the Commonwealth? Yes. And no. It's a long story. Either way, good to see a new face. How about you? Ever think about working the land? What do you need to start up a farm? Well, my father would have told you it's the three L's. Land, labor, and love. You gotta have land to work, you gotta put in a full day's labor, and you gotta love what you do. Anyone who doesn't ain't gonna last long. Word of advice, though. If you do start up a farm, be ready to deal with the raiders. Why do all the hard work when you can just take what you want at gunpoint? Bastards. All of them. Last time those raiders hit us, my daughter Mary tried to stand up to them. Now she's buried out back of the house. Only 21 years old, and they shot her down without a thought. That's why we need the Minutemen back. And the sooner, the better. Minutemen? So you know them, then. You mean Preston Any idea Garvey's why they crew? haven't been around so much lately? He's over in Sanctuary, trying to rebuild the Minutemen. You don't say. That's close by. If he'd only been there earlier, Mary may still be alive. I don't have much to offer, but those raiders that killed Mary, they took her locket, too. It's been in Connie's family for generations. If you could get it back, it'd mean a lot to us. Uh, do you know where they're coming from? Yeah, pretty sure I do. One of them mentioned Olivia while they were here. My guess is they're holed up in that old USAF station.
Disappearing act. Shooting straight, rookie.
Any luck finding that locket? I've got that locket back for you. You serious? That's great news. Connie's yeah. gonna be serious. Whatever the Minutemen need, you can count on us. We got a decent workshop in, and Connie's sure to go leaner on her prices after what you Uh-huh. You've got to help. My sister's been kidnapped. It's okay. You just need to tell me what happened. They said they'd be back for the ransom in a few days. If I don't pay up, they'll kill her. But I don't have that kind of money. Don't worry. I'll get her back. We asked the Minutemen for help, but I didn't really think anyone would come. Just bring her back safe, okay?
go. Stories like that? How much time you got? <laughs> find him and kill him! No! no! I'll find Keep your you! Eyes open! <laughs> Assholes in your stealth! Time to really hey. make Playing games with me, huh?
got it. Excuse me. Please, you've got to help me. Don't worry, I'm here to rescue you. Oh my god, thank you. Let's go. I don't know how to thank you for that rescue you pulled off. Just remember that this is all thanks to the Minutemen. We know. That's why we've decided to join the Minutemen. You can count on our help if you need it. Need to pick something up? Road's pretty long from here. I'll take a look, sure. Here's what I got. Hey there. Trading? Sure. Let's take a look. I got a little bit of everything. going on I'll hand it to you this place isn't awful it's still a hold but it could be worse now I rescued that kidnapped settler we've got another settlement on our side now good another win for the minute keep it up and pretty soon we'll have the whole Commonwealth behind us if we've got time something else has come up we've gotten big enough that we're having trouble communicating with all our settlements it's a good problem to have and I have a solution I think it's time to retake the castle. It used to be the Minutemen HQ, way before my time. Well fortified, centrally located, and most important, it has a powerful radio transmitter we can use to broadcast to the whole Commonwealth. It sounds like just what we need right now. <laughs> I thought you'd like the idea. So, should I have an assault force assemble near the castle? Yeah, let's do this. We'll do some recon and meet you outside the castle. See you there.
Look! Look at your death! Everyone's here, General. There it is. Pretty impressive, huh? Its real name is Fort Independence, but the Minutemen always just called it the castle. Now you can see why I wanted to take it back. Definitely. For 600 years old, it's in pretty good shape. That's right. They don't make them like they used to. We take this place back, people will know we mean business. Our primary objective is to clear the courtyard. That's where we should see the most op- The wall on this side is the most exposed. But if we circle around south, we could also reach the main gate. What are we waiting for? Let's just get in there and shoot those lobsters. No. If we split up, we can flank them from both sides. It'll be like shooting fish in a barrel. Why not let them come to us? We set up a firing line on this side, and you can draw them out. Well, General, what do you think? Let's not overcomplicate this. Just get in there and hit them with everything we've got. If you say so. All right, people. You heard the general. Let's move out. Try not to draw their attention until we're in position. take out these eggs, or they'll be back before we know it. Nice. Lurks like to hold up inside old buildings, so the walls are probably full of them. Sure looks that way. Here's how we're gonna play this. You hold here in the courtyard and take care of any eggs you find. The General and I will clear the walls. Yes, sir. Let's do this, General.
Let's get this over. What the hell was that? Good work, people. But we aren't done yet. The General and I are gonna have a look at the radio to see what shape it's in. The rest of you, clear out any remaining Myrolurks or eggs you find. Let's go see if there's anything left of the old transmitter. Well, I guess it could be worse. Once I power this up, We'll be ready to broadcast.
Minutemen. We've just gotten word that a settlement is in trouble. Hey there. Anyone within wow. Range, please we really did it. I've been watching the Minutemen fall to pieces for so long, I just... This is really something. Now we've got to pay off on what we've started. Bring the whole Commonwealth together and make it last this time. So, you know, back to business. But with Radio Freedom up and running, we can broadcast alerts to you anywhere, anytime. Which reminds me, I've got another trouble spot for you to check out. Our, our scouts have found a promising spot for a new settlement. Once you clear it out, set up a radio beacon to let settlers know about it. Before you know it, we'll have a thriving new farm instead of wasteland. We'll take back the Commonwealth, one piece at a time. Hey, Piper. Heading my way? Sure, let's go. Will do. Hey. Shoot, you holding up, Blue? I woke up, and the world still sucks, so... Today's been great. Hmm, interesting, you mentioning that, seeing as you're from a vault. Jumpsuit's a bit of a giveaway. So here's the deal. I want an interview. Your life story in print. I think it's time Diamond City had a little outside perspective on the Commonwealth. Besides, I'm already following you around. <laughs> Might as well get some quotes while we're at it. All right, Piper. I'm in. Good. Let's get down to business. So, I know you're from a vault. How would you describe your time on the inside? My family and I were frozen. I didn't spend much time in the vault. W wait, <laughs> they boxed you up in a fridge? The whole time? Are you saying you were alive before the war? Yes, I'm over 200 years old. <laughs> oh my God, the man out of time. So, you've seen the Commonwealth, Diamond City. How does it compare to your old life? Honestly, seeing everyone surviving out here, rebuilding the world, it gives me hope. That's surprisingly inspired, Blue. We're definitely quoting that. For the last part of our interview, I'd like to do something different. I want you to make a statement to Diamond City directly. The threat of kidnapping is all but ignored in the Commonwealth. Everyone wants to pretend it just doesn't happen. What would you say to someone out there who's lost a loved one but might be too scared or too numb to the world to look for them? No matter how much you want to give up, don't. You have to have hope that you'll see them again. Or at least, that you'll know the truth. A strong note to end on, Blue. Thanks. That's everything. It's gonna take some time to put this all together, but I think your story is gonna give Diamond City plenty to talk about. Anyway, we should probably get going. Thanks again. Hey. What, something to say? It's time we called it quits. Sure thing, I'll head home. Maybe constantly trying to kill us, but the Commonwealth never lacks for excitement.
What gave you the idea we're friends? Yeah. Hey, Carla. You again. Here to trade? Sure. Let's take a look. I got a little bit of everything.
gonna patch me up or what? I don't know. Your prognosis looks pretty grim. Might be more humane to just take you out back and shoot you. <laughs> You're all hard, Doc. Just quit squirming so I can get these bandages on. You ready to move out? Ready. Outstanding. Follow me, and try not to lag behind. Why are you standing around here like there's nothing to do? Paladin Dance is waiting for you. and dance. Listen up. We do this clean and quiet. No heroics and by the book. Understood? Understood. Outstanding. Remember, our primary target is the deep range transmitter. Stay focused and check your fire. I don't want to be hit by stray bullets. Excuse me, Paladin Dance. Enough ch Corporations like this that put the last nail in the coffin for mankind. 
They exploited technology for their own gains, pocketing the cash and ignoring the damage they'd done. Look at these wrecks. It appears as though the facility's automated security's already been dealt with. Good. Less security to worry about. Negative. There's nothing good about it. Look at the evidence. There isn't a single spent ammunition casing or drop of blood in sight. These robots were assaulted by Institute synths. I'll be on the lookout. Roger that. Let's move out. This place is a mess. But I still see enough pieces of salvage that the Brotherhood might be interested in. After we're done here, I'll have to mark this place for sweep and retrieve. Looks like a dead end. See if you can find a way to get that door open. I'm gonna reconnoiter the area. <laughs> you hear that? We've got company! Movement detected. You must be terminated. We may have a problem here. Is someone present? Oh, Compromise most of the facility. Remain vigilant. We've got turrets ahead. For honor! For glory! Intruder alert! Threat neutralized! And Victoria! Paladin, keep the noise down. This place is crawling with hostiles. Engine cores ahead. Should be our final stop. Paladin dance. Watch your footing. Looks like the power's out in this section. Look at this place. Scribes would have a field day in here. The transmitter should be in the control room at the top of the core. But it looks like the elevators are dead. We'll have to keep heading down for now find a way to get the facility's power back online. There has to be a power backup system somewhere. Scout the maintenance area off of the main chamber. I'll remain here to watch our backs.
Engine core power restored. You hear that? Thermal You're engine fueled. Primed and standing by for your command accepted. Commencing five second countdown. Five. Four. Three. Stealth capabilities. That's a two. Paladin dance. Well, that could have gone smoother, but mission accomplished. I thought we worked well as a team. Agreed. It's a refreshing change to work with a civilian who can follow orders properly. That being said, I believe we have two important matters to discuss. First and foremost, if you'll hand me the deep range transmitter, I'd like to compensate you for your assistance during this operation. I think you'll find this weapon useful. It's my own personal modification of the standard Brotherhood laser rifle. May it serve you well in battle. Thank you. You're welcome, civilian. Now, as far as the second matter goes, I wanted to make you a proposal. We had a lot thrown at us back there. Our op could have ended in disaster, but you kept your cool and handled it like a soldier. There's no doubt in my mind that you've got what it takes. The way I see it, you've got a choice. You could spend the rest of your life wandering from place to place, trading an extra hand for a meager reward. Or, you could join the Brotherhood of Steel and make your mark on the world. So, what do you say? I'd be honored to join. That's what I wanted to hear. 
Meet me back at the police station, and we'll discuss the details. <laughs> Dance. Glad to see you alive and well, sir. Are we in luck, sir? Mission accomplished. We have the transmitter. Finally, some good news for a change. Nice work, sir. I didn't do it alone. Aelin, Reese, it's time to welcome our newest recruit to the Brotherhood. He shows a lot of promise, and with the proper guidance, I think he has the potential of becoming one of the best. Thanks. I promise not to let you down. You don't have to prove anything else to me. Getting that transmitter was enough. So you decided to stay, huh? I expected you to take your payment and run. Let's just hug this out and get it over with. What do you say? You can play it however you want, tough guy. It's gonna take a lot more than completing one mission to impress me. Reese, that's enough. Like it or not, you're going to have to learn to work together. And you, you need to understand what it means to be a part of the Brotherhood. We're not soldiers of fortune. We're an army. And we've dedicated our lives to uphold a strict code of ethics. If you intend to stay within our ranks, you need to obey our tenets without question. Don't worry. I've spent time in the military. Perfect. Then there's no need to give you a long lecture. So I'll get right to the point. I only ask for two things from anyone under my command. Honesty and respect. You fall in line, you stay in line. I give you an order, and you follow it. It's as simple as that. There's one last order of business I wanted to get out of the way. I'm going to recommend you to be awarded the rank of Knight. Now, nothing's official until you speak to Elder Maxon, but I wanted you to be the first to know. Thank you. Thanks aren't necessary. Just continue excelling at your duties, soldier. Ad Victorium, Knight. He doesn't even know what that means, Halen. Ad Victorium means to victory. In our eyes, defeat is unacceptable because we're fighting for the future of mankind. Our rallying cry is more powerful than any weapon you could ever carry. Remember that. Now, I've received orders that we're both to report to the Pridwin. However, if you want to run a few ops for Scribe Halen or Knight Reese first, they could certainly use your assistance. I'll leave the choice up to you. Let me know when you're ready to mount up. Paladin. Are you ready to head up to the ship? Of course I am. I've never seen anything so impressive. Takes your breath away, doesn't it? We call our ship the Pridwin. She's loaded with enough troops and supplies to mount a major offensive. If she's here, Elder Maxon's here. And that means we're going to war. Gonna be a quick war with that thing on our side. That's the plan. If history's proven anything, it's that an overwhelming show of force has a chance of halting a conflict before it begins. That being said, you're about to get to know the Pridwin up close and personal. I've received orders that we're both to report to her immediately. Follow me up to the roof of the police station. We're going for a little ride.
fire. Did you spot anything hostile during the flight? I suggest you put it to good use. Make sure you properly identify your targets before you start shooting. We don't want to have any mishaps and fire on the locals. Commonwealth looks different from up here, doesn't it? It never ceases to amaze me how drastically your perception of the battlefield changes from the air. We're gonna need that edge when we take on the Institute. They've already proven that they're technologically superior, which means there's no telling what types of weapons they'll have in their arsenal. Hopefully, our air superiority and tactical know-how will make the difference. Now all we have to do is find them. And I'm betting that Elder Maxon will have a plan already in place by the time we arrive. Soldier, this is the moment when everything changes. I hope you're ready. to come aboard, sir? Permission granted, and welcome back, Paladin. Allow me to be the first to congratulate you on a successful mission. And is this our new recruit? Yes, sir. I feel promoted him to initiate, and I'd like to sponsor his entry into our rankings personally. Yes, we've read your reports. You'll be pleased to know that Elder Maxon's approved your request and placed the recruit in your charge. Thank you, sir. And my current orders? You are to remain on the Pridman and await further instructions. Very good, sir. Ad Victorium, Captain. Ad Victorium, Paladin. So, you're the one Paladin Dance has taken under his wing. <laughs> you don't look much like a soldier to me. Looks can be deceiving. Which is precisely why I personally insist on scrutinizing every recruit who boards this vessel. I've read Paladin Dance's reports. He seems to think you'll make a fine addition to the Brotherhood. You might expect an endorsement like that to grant you a great deal of latitude with us. But let me make one thing clear. The Brotherhood of Steel has traveled to the Commonwealth with a specific goal in mind. As the captain of this vessel, I won't allow anyone to jeopardize our mission, no matter how valuable they think they are. Understood? Absolutely. Good. That's all for now, soldier. Your orders are to proceed to the command deck for the address. 
After which, Elder Maxon wishes to have a word with you. If you have any questions, ask me now. Otherwise, you're dismissed. Where can I get power armor? Only knights are allowed to wear Brotherhood power armor. And you're no knight. Not yet. Until Elder Maxon grants you that title, you'll have to make do with what you've got. Anything else? What are my orders? Your orders are to proceed to Elder Maxon's address, after which he wishes to speak with you. Anything else? I don't have any questions. Then I suggest you head over to the command deck immediately. Dismissed, Initiate. Welcome aboard. Elder Maxon is holding his address inside the command deck. and sisters, the road behind has been long and fraught with difficulty. Each and every one of you has surpassed my expectations by rapidly facilitating our arrival in the Commonwealth. You have accomplished this amazing feat without a hint of purpose or direction, and most impressively, without question. Now that the ship is in position, it is time to reveal our purpose and our mission beneath the Commonwealth. There is a cancer, known as the Institute. A malignant growth that needs to be cut before it infects the surface. They are experimenting with dangerous technologies that could prove to be the world's undoing for the second time in recent history. The Institute scientists have created a weapon that transcends the destructive nature of the atom bomb. They call their creation the Synth, a robotic abomination of technology that is free-thinking and masquerades as a human being. This notion that a machine could be granted free will is not only offensive, but horribly dangerous. And like the atom, if it isn't harnessed properly, it has the potential of rendering us extinct as a species. I am not prepared to allow the Institute to continue this line of experimentation. Therefore, the Institute and their sins are considered enemies of the Brotherhood of Steel and should be dealt with swiftly and mercilessly. This campaign will be costly, and many lives will be lost. But in the end, we will be saving humankind from its worst enemy, itself. Ad Victorium! Ad Victorium! Ad Victorium! Joining our cause was the wisest decision of your life, brother. I care about them, you know. The people of the Commonwealth. I can see that. They're playing with fire and we need to save them. Exactly. I just hope we're here in time. I refuse to allow the mistakes of the past to be repeated. Don't worry. I'm convinced. Paladin Dance's reports were quite clear regarding your feelings toward the Brotherhood. And he concludes that you'd be an asset to us. Seeing as he's one of my most respected field officers, you couldn't get a better recommendation. Therefore, from this moment forward, I'm granting you the rank of knight. And, befitting your title, we're granting you a suit of power armor to protect you on the field of battle. Wear it with pride. I'll do my best to live up to it. I'm certain that you will. In any event, once you're finished becoming familiar with the Pridwin and my staff, report to the flight deck for your new orders. Welcome aboard the Pridwin, soldier. Make us proud. Station keeping maintained. the board, sir. Nothing new. Good. Carry on, Knight. Proctor Ingram said she needed this suit tested yesterday. Yeah, I get it. Just... What if I miss? Don't. Okay, sure. Firing. Everything holding together? Trust me. You'd know. Good. Uh, firing! Alright, alright. Everything looks nominal. 
you didn't scuttle the ship. Thanks, Initiate. Sure. Anytime. How did it look out there? Paladin dance. There you are. How did it go with Elder Maxim? He's a very dedicated man. It sounds like he stands behind everything he's saying. Of course he does. How could he afford not to? I just hope you appreciate how much of a chance I'm taking bringing you into the fold this quickly. Not to put too fine a point on it, but if you screw up, we go down together. Don't worry. I'll be careful. Good. Because we've got a lot of work ahead of us, and I don't want anything slowing us down. Now, I know you're eager to hop into a suit of power armor and take the fight to the Institute. But first things first. In order to be an effective part of the team, you need to learn your way around this ship and get to know its crew. Since I've been officially assigned to you as your sponsor, I'd recommend taking me along with you. Sounds good. Let's go. Outstanding. I never liked having squires aboard a warship. But Maxon thinks they need to train under fire. Congrats. Congratulations on the promotion, Knight. I'm proud to be serving under Elder Maxon. Had enough alliance in his foolish ways. Ah, good. You're finally here. Just set the books down anywhere. I'll get to them as soon as I can. I think you're confusing me with someone else. Hmm. Perhaps I need to rummage through the supply bins for a new pair of glasses. Since it's obvious that you aren't who I was expecting, would you mind telling me why you're here? Maxon wanted me to meet the crew, so you were next on my list. Ah, yes. You must be the new recruit described in Paladin Dance's report. Under normal circumstances, I'd provide you with a proper orientation of my department. However, I'm woefully behind setting up research patrols and getting bombarded with requests for technical documentation. Unfortunately, I'm lacking the personnel needed to get the job done. What exactly is a research patrol? Simply put, we send a small two-man team to scout a location and evaluate its technical and historical relevance. Saves us from sending an entire retrieval team to a worthless location. Maybe I can lend you a hand. That would be splendid. As you patrol the Commonwealth, keep your eyes open for blueprints, memos, manuals, books, charts. Anything containing useful technical data. I'm authorized to pay you for each bundle of documents that you recover. And if you wish to be assigned to a research patrol, I have plenty of them waiting to be filled. In any event, it was a pleasure to meet you, Knight. Glad you finally stopped by, soldier. Are you ready for your medical exam? Sure. Go right ahead. All right. I'm going to ask you a series of medical-related questions, and I'd like you to answer me to the best of your ability. First question. As a child, were you ever exposed to radiation for an extended period of time? There wasn't that much radiation around before the bombs fell. Before the bombs? What? what? Let, let me check my notes. You were a vault dweller? You're probably healthier than anyone else aboard. Anyway, sorry I missed that in your records. Just going down the list of questions. I'm sure you understand. Okay, second question. Have you ever had or come in contact with a person confirmed to be carrying a communicable disease? Never been seriously sick in my life. Good, good. Third question. And please, answer honestly. Have you ever had sexual relations with any species considered non-human? Uh, no. Never have. Very well. Last question. Would you have any problems pulling the trigger on an enemy of the Brotherhood, whether they're human, formerly human, or machine? Nope. No problem whatsoever. Excellent. You'll fit in quite well around here. Excellent. I think I've got all the information I need. 
I see no reason to prevent you from beginning your duties immediately. If you ever need medical assistance, you let me know. If you run into any sense, shoot to kill. We don't take prisoners. Can't talk right now. Got Ingram? So, get on the recruit I heard about. Huh, not what I was expecting. Sounds like you're disappointed. I'm not disappointed, just surprised. You don't look like one of the usual wastelanders we pick up. Anyway, since you came down here to meet me, we may as well get it over with. My name's Ingram, and this lovely little grease pit is where you'll usually find me. If your power armor's too tight in the crotch, the prid one's about to crash into the ground, or a robot's gone haywire, you come see me. Sounds like you have a pretty full plate. Plate? Hell, I have a whole table's worth of duties around here. There isn't a day that goes by on this tub without five or six things breaking down. And since I'm stuck in this rig, I'm not quite as spry as I used to be. The work tends to pile up. Actually, you seem to be getting around really well. I suppose it's better than the alternative. Anyway, I'm sure you're here to get your hands on some power armor. There's a pretty decent T-60 suit sitting in Bay 3 that's all yours. The left leg actuator's a bit sticky, but it'll keep the creeps off of you. Oh, and if you need any work done on it, feel free to use the workshops around here. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to get back to work. Step forward, Knight. Even though they've locked me in this blasted cage, I promise that I won't bite. Looks uncomfortable in there. It's not that bad. Now this is the stowage depot, and I, as you probably already guessed, am the ship's quartermaster, Proctor Tegan. The powers that be have me locked in here, so I can keep an eye on the Brotherhood's valuables. If you need to stock up on supplies before you head out on a mission, this is the place to buy them. That's good to know. I'm glad you're the agreeable type. When I tell most of the new recruits that they have to buy their own equipment, they give me the stink eye. The good news is by having a constant flow of caps, I'm able to buy whatever you bring me. Yeah, I'm mostly interested in weapons, but I'll take anything useful. Of course, if you're just looking to make a few caps on the side, I might have some extra work for you to do. I could use some extra caps. You need them. And I want you to spend them here. It's a match made in heaven. It just involves a little bit of heavy lifting and... interacting with the local farms. And since I'm stuck up here manning this one-man zoo, I need someone to do the legwork for me. After you're done with the meet and greet, we can discuss the details. In the meantime, if you ever need anything else, a gun, a mod, even ammo, you just let me know. I hope this has something to do with our mission.
Ingram catch you standing around. You'll be on report before you can delay. If Elder Max had ordered me to follow him to the gates of hell, I'd be the first one to kick them open. We'll stop the Institute from... Familiarize yourself with the Pridwin's crew. Are you ready for your next assignment, brother? Yes, Elder. Good. Let's get right to it then. Shall we? Take a look over there. That's Fort Strong. And it's infested with super mutants. Having those aberrations of nature close enough to smell is making me sick to my stomach. To make matters worse, they're sitting on top of a massive stockpile of fat man shells we could use in our campaign. I want you to head over there. Wipe out everything that moves, and secure that stockpile. Understood? Consider it done. Look, I realize you're eager to take the fight to the Institute, but it'll have to wait. The Brotherhood cannot allow those abominations to have a nuclear arsenal at their fingertips. It'll be a pleasure to exterminate that mutant filth. Now, we have a vertebrate on standby, fully armed and ready to depart. Use it to carry our message to Fort Strong and wipe those dirty mutants from the face of the earth. Dismissed. Having the Pridwin moored above... Research patrol. <laughs> Babysitting field scribe. Prestigious. Beats guard duty. Why? What'd you get? Vanguard. You're kidding. If not, end up that okay. I've got to leave a couple of secret moves. Primary target 
down. Look at this thing, please. Find a place to set her down and then hightail it back to the Bridwin for repairs. This area seems to be in disarray. I wonder if this is recent. Let's quiet, little human! Let's show them how the Brotherhood is! <laughs> through it could prove beneficial. Is there? Various obviously been. All right. Hopefully, there's something useful here. Found a good bunch of stuff here.
Whatever this thing was, it's been totally torn to pieces. Excuse me, Paladin Dance? Look at this place. You must hate these mutants as much as I do. Absolutely. Wiping them out was a pleasure. I wish all of mankind shared your sentiment. These monstrosities are just another example of man blindly taking a step forward, only to wind up stumbling two steps back. I've been fighting for years, trying to put a stop to this madness. And just when I thought we were getting the upper hand, along come the synths. I've seen what these super mutants do to people. Can you imagine what the synths would do to us if they ever got the upper hand? It would be Armageddon repeated, and maybe the end of everything that we hold dear. <sighs> Look, I don't mean to bore you with my rhetoric. I just want you to understand how important these missions are. Don't apologize. It reminds me why I'm doing this. Thank you, brother. It's good to know you're taking my advice to heart. Anyway, that's enough of that. What's important here is that you got the job done and secured these warheads. You should head back up to the Pridwin and talk to Maxon. I'm sure he'll want to debrief you as soon as possible. Dismissed.
right now. Outstanding work at Fort Strong, soldier. It was an honor fighting for the Brotherhood. I'm glad you feel that way. Because our mission here has only just begun. In order to bring the Institute to its knees, we need to use every weapon at our disposal. I try to supply my soldiers with the best. That's why I'm giving you these. Signal grenades can call a vertebrate to your location when you need aerial transport. Simply throw one to the ground, and the vertebrate will hone in on the unique electromagnetic smoke it emits. Once you're aboard, use the map on your pit boy to interface with the pilot's navigation system, so he'll be able to take you wherever you need. Thank you, Elder. I'll make good use of them. I expect that you will. Now. I'm sure you're aware that Fort Strong was simply the first step towards the liberation of the Commonwealth. An even greater task lies ahead. By now, I'm sure you've deduced that our arrival in the Commonwealth wasn't coincidental. We're here because of a unique energy reading recorded by Paladin Dance's recon team. According to our scribes, the reading indicated a level of technology that only the Institute could achieve. The moment this information came to light, our mission became clear. The Institute and everyone responsible for the creation of the synths must be eliminated at all costs. To accomplish this goal, we need to locate the Institute's headquarters. I've had our scribes meticulously searching the Commonwealth, but they've come up empty-handed. Anything you need, Elder, you just say the word. I want you to get out there and become our eyes and ears on the ground. You seem to have a vested interest in locating the Institute before we met, so I'm confident you'll travel in the right circles. If you discover a way in, I need you to report it to me immediately. Any questions, Knight? Aren't there any pre-war records about the Institute that might help us? Our records indicate that the Institute was born from the remnants of a pre-war educational facility. The Commonwealth Institute of Technology. The ruins of the facility are at the center of the city, but we've already searched them thoroughly. The location appears to have been abandoned long ago, so it appears that the trail ends there. Anything else, Knight? Could those mysterious energy readings Paladin Dance's recon team detected be related to teleportation? The level of technology that the Institute possesses is far beyond our own. So we're not certain. However, that would explain why the readings are so random and short-lived. I'll have our scribes focus on improving our scanning techniques to learn more. Anything else you wanted to ask, Knight? Any suggestions where I should look next? Your meeting with Dr. Amari seemed fairly telling. If the Institute has the capability to teleport its synths, then we're in for quite a fight. There must be a way to tap into the teleport signal, and your mysterious lead in the glowing sea could provide us with the answer. If you need any assistance mitigating the radiation in that godforsaken location, speak to Proctor Tegan. I'm certain he'd be willing to help. Not right now, Elder. Very well, then. Dismissed. Captain Kells is one of the finest officers I've ever had the pleasure of serving under.